log pocket. Dusty. So dusty. <laughs> I'm back here again. Got to clean this bad boy off because I just don't use it. It is probably the worst purchase I've made in my retro game collection. My game collection. In its history. I mean, it is just a system that I had such high hopes for. I was so looking forward to this. I'm like, oh my gosh, this has everything I want. And it didn't deliver for me. It didn't deliver at all. It's a lot of failed promises and a lot of a mismatch of the type of gamer I am, handheld gamer, versus this system. And I can't blame analog for one aspect of it. It is probably one of the most uncomfortable consoles I've ever had to play for more than 30 minutes in my life. It is really weighted poorly. The vertical design, the button placement, the shoulder placements, it just does not feel good. Also, it's lacking the library. It's still not working. I wanted this system primarily for the great screen, analogs, attention to detail with their FPGA, and the library. The library was going to be this all-encompassing historical database for video games. And it's still not out. Almost a year since I've had it. So what, what I'm going to do here, you're seeing me play some games here. I'm going to play, of course, Pitfall, but I've got tons of GBA games. Like, I mean, tons of GBA games and tons of uh, Game Boy and games. I just, just have them in my collection. Now, my biggest complaint is the physical feel of this. I don't like the design. Now, I knew that what I, what I was buying. I knew it was in, you know, the kind of Game Boy Light, original Game Boy vibe, but I thought it would, I didn't think it would feel so uncomfortable. And that's the problem I'm having with it. It is so uncomfortable for long game sessions, especially with somebody with big hands or chubby hands like I do. I got like the Homer Simpson hands, the button placements, especially GB games, uh, GBA games, Game Boy Advance games that use uh, the shoulder buttons. It's very uncomfortable to get to. Um, but I mean, it looks great. I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sit here and hammer on things like it sounds great, it looks great, it plays great. The games I want to work, work on it, but it's just not, it's just very uncomfortable to play with for any length of time. Um, I much prefer the horizontal design of the original GBA, and and that's why I'm, I'm trading this. I'm eventually trading this. I have a local game store making me a custom GBA with the LCD screen, USB-C recharging. They're going to make one, and I'm going to trade it straight up for it. Um, I was lucky. I got this system at 199 but um, I really regret it right now. I feel like I could have probably got the uh, Analog Duo, the Turbo Graphic system that they're coming out, and probably just ignored this. Now, that's the comfort factor. Let's get into the software. Again, the software's pretty crappy. Like I know this is their first kick at the can. I'm making a full-fledged OS, but, you know... Um, save states aren't really working or aren't reliable in this this system. It's in beta. They don't have the library again, which is the biggest disappointment. I thought that was going to come out at launch. They keep delaying it, and there's no end in sight. Otherwise, there are a lot of cool options that go in and change your display mode, color palette, sharpness, all those types of things. Those things are there, and I, I honestly think once you go in and play with it, you're going to probably keep it on the analog GB actual setting because it looks fantastic i've never seen a, G, a game boy game boy advance game boy color game look as good as on this system it it is bar like i have to give credit where credit's due it's amazing looking it is just unbelievable but again you can't play it long enough i can't anyway um i just can't play it long enough to enjoy it and that really that really sucks for me because I, I have games like Pitfall on there. I have my Turtles game, my Terminators game. I want to play my original cards on this hardware or hardware like this. So for me, that's that's really, really what I'm... No, more Pitfall. I'm done with Pitfall. Uh, let's, yeah, let's go with some Zelda right here. I'm indecisive, right? Because that's always a classic. Cause, you know what? I, I wasn't necessarily wanting to play Zelda, but I wanted to show it to anybody who's watching that look how good this game looks i mean come on it is an amazing looking game on this system so for people who grew up with the game boy as, as a handheld they're probably used to this form factor but 
I got my hands on a Game Boy and I played it and I could play original Game Boy for hours at a time and I don't feel like my like my hands cramp up or anything like that. But this one here is just just miserable. My hands cramp after a little bit of time. I can't find a good way to hold it for any length of time. The waiting feels off also. Maybe it's just me and I'm hypersensitive to that, but it just uh it, that's that in the software. So what really gets me is that I was looking forward to this system for so long. And you know when you look forward to a system and it disappoints you, it you feel yucky. And I can't really blame analog for a lot of this, but I wish they would have went with the horizontal design. But again, they, you know, I knew what I was ordering. I don't get me wrong. I'm not. It's not about that. I knew what I was ordering, but I just feel like if they went with the original Game Boy Advance form factor, a much more people would like it. And other people have complained about the form factor and trying to find a good way to play it. But I think the thing that I can't excuse them for is the software. If you're going to put a system out and you and you herald the library and the repository of information, the coolness of that, and then memories and, and, and cores that you're gonna add, and you literally do nothing. And like, you, you're not, you're updating a few bugs and stuff, which, you know, you're updating the software. I have the latest software on it right now, which, but that goes without saying, you're selling a $200 system. I mean, I cover a lot of the Evercade on this channel and they're updating their OS all the time and they're adding new features and new things. You expect that the, uh, you know, the Atari VCS is updating their OSs all the time. So we expect that, but to promise a certain set of software and not deliver within, you know, a year or eight months since launch, I can't remember when I got this last year, I believe with the pandemic, everything just drags on. I just feel like, you know, it's kind of disingenuous and I really like, I, I just, I don't know. I, I guess it's, it's me just rambling a little bit here, but I feel like, um, yeah, I, I have no problem trading this for a GBA that's being custom built. When it's custom built, I'll share it with you and, and do a little quick video on it. But yeah, it, it kind of hurts a little bit to look forward to a system and feel like it just, you know, it just felt like you threw your money away. Because when you do play the games for a few minutes, it plays great. Like Pitfall 2 plays great. The music seems a little off though, but I gotta go back and play it on my Atari 2600. Well, on my Gemini, to be honest with you, because I got the OG copy. Just see if that music slows down a little bit after initial doom, 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 doom. Yeah, I wonder where that song come from. Hmm, they must have stole it from my channel. <laughs> I'm just joking. But yeah, so again, this is just me sharing my thoughts about how I'm disappointed with the system and it's not entirely all of Analog's fault. I'm, I'm, it's not about that, but I feel they need to own up to some of it. And because uh, there's a lot of people ordering this system at a much higher cost now. I think it's gone up uh, 50 or $75 US. I'm not entirely sure from when the originals went out. And, you know, um, so it's not a cheap system, but the quality is there. I mean, it feels it's really solidly built um there's no doubt about it analog does make good products there anyway i just want to share some of my thoughts on this and uh yeah so i'm going to play with it a little bit longer and when i can and then i'm going to be trading it for a uh, a brand new used custom gba uh device so i hope to see that on the channel soon once again i'm pete thank you so much for watching the channel and i really appreciate it have an awesome day bye